Hi guys, welcome to the Niobium podcast brought to you by TBMM, the global leader of production and commercialization of Niobium products. Uh, this is going to be a very good place for us to talk about materials technology and demystify a little bit of how Niobium used, what is Niobium, what are the industry that it's used and what are the megatrends that it's connected like electrification, urbanization and digital transformation. As you see here in this podcast series, Niobium can be used in small amounts so you don't have to worry about time because uh, the small amounts of time is also enough for us to bring relevant and good information for you guys. So I'm Mauricio, I'm part of the CBMM team and I have here with me Caio Pisano, manager of the stainless steel for program for CBMM. Welcome Caio. Hey Mauricio, very nice to be here with you. It's a very good initiative to promote Niobium. Just to talk a little bit more about CBMM, CBMM is the global leader of production and commercialization of Niobium products with customers in more than 50 countries around the world and a very nice infrastructure of offices with subsidiaries in Amsterdam, United States, Singapore, China. And um, Caio, can you talk a little bit more about Niobium and the main applications and industries of this material? For sure. Uh, of course I can. Uh, I think that uh, the idea of this podcast series is to explore and discuss a little bit about materials technology mm -hmm. in a more relaxed way so we can touch some crucial points of where Niobium can really be, bring benefits to the applications. And uh, we're going to see that Niobium is present in almost every technology that we use in our daily lives. It's pre present in mobility, in civil construction, in energy. It's, it's going to be present, present even more in the, uh, let's say, megatrend technologies. So in electrification, digital transformation, urbanization. And uh, I don't know if everybody knows, but CBM has been developing the Niobium technology since the 70s. Whoa. So we have a very long road behind us uh, with a lot of expertise, but most importantly, uh, we try to work as much as we can with our customers and partners. So CBMM promotes a lot uh, of what we call the circular approach, where we do the, the technical development ourselves, but we also try to involve the market with that. So that's why we have so many technologies with Niobium today uh, consolidated in the market, and we have so many opportunities for the future, as you're going to see here in this podcast. Awesome. And do you have, can you bring up, for example, what is the most traditional application of Niobium since CBMM is working since the 70s, for example? Is there something that we can relate? Oh, this is where yeah, the Ni Niobium technology started. Of course. Uh, as you said very well, uh, just a little bit of Niobium can transform the properties of materials uh, by enhancing the mechanical properties of these materials, making the materials more flexible, making the materials more safe. So I will give a very good example, automotive industry. Uh, we have Niobium pres presence in the vehicles and uh, the possibility of adding Niobium to the steel is increasing the safety of the cars, for example. So if you have an eventual crash, uh, you're going to be safe from inside the vehicle. Niobium saving life, guys. Niobium saving life. <laughs> uh, and also for civil construction, we are going to talk a lot in this podcast series about sustainability. Uh, so as we are also increasing the properties of materials, we can use less steel and have the same performance. So in the buildings, in the constructions, the steels with Niobium are stronger. So you don't need to use as much steel as you, you would use without Niobium. And I think that's one of the first applications of Niobium was in the energy segments for pipelines, uh, for transportation of oil and gas. I think this was the uh, the beginning of everything. And uh, as we're going to talk, I'm a little bit suspect to talk about it, but we're going to talk a lot about stainless steels, uh, which is also present in our lives, in our day-to-day -day activities. So as you can see, a lot of applications of Niobium, we have so many more to talk and so many more to talk. And Kaya has just given an, an, an a spoiler of the first episode in which you're going to talk a little bit more about stainless steel and what are stainless steels, what it's used for, where does it live, and all this kind of thing. So stay tuned, guys, and don't miss it. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about Niobium technology in the meantime, there is this QR code here for Niobium.tech. We have more than 500 items available with lots of content and technical information about Niobium. <laughs>